So even in 1165, we begin, that sounds like a date, doesn't it? In video 1165, we began our mission to make a paper bicycle from old rolled up newspapers. And I showed you the machine that we were gonna actually use to do that. And that's I've been using that machine and I have a bundle of paper sticks. These paper sticks are going to be what I use to make my bicycle. And I'm going to use this thing here as the model for the bicycle. It's a BMX style bike and that's what we're going to use so we get all the angles right and everything's in the right place. So that's what I'm going to model it on and that's the material I'm going to use. Now paper is astonishing stuff. I mean it's been around about 200 years or so. And it has been used for just a load of things. I mean they used to make train wheels out of paper. Cathedral domes were made out of paper. Paper boats were immensely popular and I've seen loads of people making paper-based canoes. So paper can be used to do structural stuff all of the time. Now of course what you really do with it is you don't just roll it up and rely on it. What you do is roll it up and glue it. And the glue that you use is going to affect the properties. Now um, Darcy, bless his heart, I think used wallpaper paste, which is carboxymethyl cellulose. Now, wallpaper paste makes a sort of papier-mâché, so his sticks were papier-mâché. But paper with various glues and resins in it have been used in places you wouldn't believe. So there's a kind of resin called a phenolic resin, phenolic formaldehyde, actually. And that's the stuff you find in printed circuit boards. So printed circuit boards are, in fact, a resin and paper composite where the paper has been glued together with a phenolic resin. It's also used in high-voltage stuff because it's incredibly insulating. So paper composites, laying them up and putting in glues or resins has been used for a long time to do other things as well. And you find them in things like uh, knives, they used to do kitchen tops in them, and you find them with lots of different resins. So polyurethane resins, formaldehyde resins, urea resins, uh, epoxy resins, all kinds of stuff actually, and all kinds of glue. The glue I really like is a casein-based glue. Now the casein-based glue is... Um, Actually incredible. If you make your casein based glue using casein and calcium hydroxide, which is slaked lime, then it makes a waterproof, or actually water resistant glue that has an incredible bond to cellulose materials. And of course, paper is a cellulose material. They actually used to make Messerschmitts with it during the war. So if it's good enough for the Luftwaffe, it's good enough for a bicycle, isn't it? So it's a really strong, and they also made the Stockholm railway station roof using casein-based glues. Now the recipe is, um, if I remember this right, 100 grams of casein, 150 grams of water, um, 20 grams of calcium hydroxide, and 50 grams of water to make a calcium hydroxide water mix. So you mix the casein with the water, you mix the calcium hydroxide and water, add one to the other, give them a stir, and it will turn into a glue, and that glue is what was used here. So I painted the paper with that glue, and then put it in the sticks making machine and got these incredibly hard <coughs> sticks. And those are the sticks we're gonna be using. Now paper has a grain to it. It comes on a machine, and as the machine pulls everything, all the fibers go in the direction of the machine. So if I take a piece of paper and tear it that way, it's really easy because I'm tearing with the grain. All the grain runs that way. If I tear it the other way, it's terrible. It wants to go with the grain and it doesn't want to tear that way. So it's hard to tear against the grain and easy to tear with the grain. Now, if you remember, we rolled these sticks up with the grain. So in these, all of the grain is running that direction. And that's kind of, with the casein, simulating wood. And it will be anisotropic. And that means the properties will change depending on the direction. Just like that tear that we just did. We'll actually change the properties of the paper. So now we've actually made the sticks. We've got the um, frame. We can actually get on and repeat that frame and build that frame. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about paper, a little bit more about its history, a little bit more about the resins that have been used, and a little bit more about the applications. It is one of the reasons I think a paper bike is actually going to work really well and really easily, because it has just such a huge history behind it. When you start to look into what they've done with paper, paper is truly an amazing material. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll get on with this and please do remember to subscribe.